hello <laughs> hello people okay i am gonna be taking off i'm gonna be taking off all of this first of all if y'all could see my setup right now i i don't even want to like turn my camera around but if y'all could just see how this is like set up in my bathroom usually i have my camera off over on the side but welcome to a get unready with me <laughs> yeah usually i go in with my favorite the inky list cleansing balm like i really want to try something new because i've had this what is this i know what it is i am going to be using this sleepy cleansing balm i bought this from lush like a while ago so i've had it and i've only used it once but first of all look how cute that is just a little face um, but before I do that, I am going to take off my eye makeup. I really don't have on too much makeup because lately I've only been wearing mascara. i barely been putting on eyelashes. I did once this week for the first time in a long time, but that was pretty much it. I'm going to go in with this Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. And I only use that to take off my eye makeup because this one compared to the um, Inculus Cleansing Balm, I'll show you how that looks. It's softer than the cleansing balm, so it isn't gonna be too heavy when I do put it on my eyelids. I don't have any eye makeup either. It's just my mascara, concealer, foundation, and some lipstick, which I just threw. I threw the color that I have on now. I threw it away because I didn't like it. All right, so now I've been rubbing it in. That's how it looks. Lately, I've just been planning makeup to see what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep, because I really don't wear makeup like that, but I wanna start wearing it so. I'm gonna start with one eye first and I always use reusable bamboo cloths or reusable what are these called reusable cotton pads for some reason like my mind is just blanking this is these are what they look like I order them from Amazon and you can also like stick your fingers inside of here too that just makes it a lot easier to clean hey comment it's me I've been thinking about you lately. I miss you. I try to do one eye at a time because I never want to blind myself or accidentally put product in my eye by doing both. Oh, that is glorious. Mm. Honestly, there's not too much of a dramatic difference. I'm gonna do the other eye. This one isn't even fully like cleansed all the way, but I just wanted to get some of it off so that I don't start having blurry vision. I love watching people take off their makeup compared to them actually putting it on. It's just something satisfying about it. I have these little spoolies, which I've had for a really long time. And every shape of it has a different purpose. So since I'm cleaning my eyelashes, I'm just gonna go in with this regular spoolie. So this is just a regular spoolie that I'm gonna use to get the residue from the mascara off my eyelashes. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna wait until I clean my entire face. And hopefully this little naked cleansing balm does something. I just looked it up on the Lush website on how to use it and it says just to rub it in your hands and warm it up and then put it on there. I'm like rubbing and rubbing but like nothing is happening. Like it's so thin, nothing is happening. I'm gonna give up. This is how the face is looking now. And this is how my hands are looking. There's not really much going on there. It's too gentle for me. I don't know what time it is. Oh. Yep. It never lets me down. Do I need a bit of you? I trust those good on you. Wanna love, wanna love 
be and I make sure I get up all up in my hairline because when I bronze, I pat in my hairline. Sometimes I let the balm like sit on my skin because technically you can use it as a cleanser and a mask. And that's what it says on the packaging, like you can just leave it on your skin for like 10 minutes, but since I'm taking my makeup off, I don't want my makeup to be still sitting on my face with this oil. Yo, this has been so good to me. Confidence in a cleanser. And I wash my face for... Oh my goodness. Um, I wash my face for like 45 seconds. I usually know like how long I'm doing each step just by listening to music. Sometimes I wish you never told me that you love me. Cause I feel like I got too much to lose. And you tell me baby that's an excuse. And I wish I believed that that was true. Sometimes I wonder if we meant to be. I guess that we gon' see. I ask myself, I wonder if I wonder too much. Overthinking mind up in the clouds would have done. Another microfiber reusable washcloths. They're really soft on my face. Not that I have sensitive skin or anything, but I need to go back underneath my eye. I'm literally so up and close right now, but I just take this fully and get the residue out of my eyelashes that I couldn't reach. I don't like to put too much oil in them because then it gets in your eye and that's just not fun. skincare concerns right now are just my cheeks like being dry but as far as my hyperpigmentation that is getting better i'm going to exfoliate and use a toner which is the same toner i always use Travis choice i used to use the ordinary um was it the ordinary or no it used to be you to the people i used to use this you to the people exfoliant which was really strong. Man, I used to use so many acids and so many serums and toners and stuff, not realizing I was doing more like damage just by doing all these treatments and stuff. And honey, no, no. It just took even longer. While I let that sit in my face for a bit, I'm gonna brush my teeth. <laughs> You know, what I haven't done in a long time is gargle with peroxide, and I have this huge thing. But for people that want a brighter smile and wetter teeth, like naturally, this and baking soda, gargle with this. <laughs> Might have took it to the head. Now I'm going in with this vitamin C. I'm only going to put a little bit though on my cheeks. This is mostly used as a treatment. That's the main issue where I have hyperpigmentation, not really on my forehead, because my forehead seems to be one, one tone. So I have freckles. That's what my auntie told me. So if you don't think I do, it's not me, it's her. <laughs> Bruh, I just be talking. Now, because I need so much damn moisturizer to end off my night, I'm gonna go in with this nourishing night cream from F and this Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask by Youth to the People. I live by this. I love every second of it. This has lasted me so long. You only use both of these two at night. Like you shouldn't be using them in the morning. I mean, I guess you can, but they're really made for it at night because your skin with the cell rejuvenation and turnover just does better at night. So I'm gonna put my F on first. And you know what? I really just get dry like all in here. 
for whatever reason like at first it used to be my t-zone like right in here but now it's just like around my mouth and that's so weird told you my skin be going against me but it's only in the winter it's only in the winter <laughs> Also too, normally I would do a sugar scrub or some sort of like a lip exfoliating treatment since I have been wearing lipstick, like matte lipsticks, and I don't want it to dry out the skin on my lips, but um, for the sake of time and the fact that I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm just gonna do my skincare or I'll probably just do that later, but yeah, that's what I usually do when I wear matte lipsticks. I do some sort of a lip treatment so all the dead skin from my lips can just be gone. bring it down to my neck too because your neck needs love too but I'm not gonna rub this mask all the way in you don't have to take it off you don't have to like wash it off with water after a while you can just sleep in it and I want to say that is it that is the end of my get unready with me I hope y'all enjoyed this video my nighttime skincare routine changes like every couple of days I pretty much just use the same products but yeah, that is the end. If y'all enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Check out some of my other like skincare and makeup videos and vlogs, of course. And I will see y'all in my next video. Why